I'm at the Louth Conservation Area today, and uh, I've just come after an overnight rain, and one of those 100-year rains that happens every couple of years, it seems. And uh, lots, of, lots of water coming down uh, 16 Mile Creek. And so I'm gonna go down to the two waterfalls in the Louth Conservation Area and see, see what uh, the waterfalls are doing today. So this is really quite unusual. The, the, the uh, 16 Mile Creek here actually goes underground um, through the limestone. So it's found a way to get uh, through the limestone to the other side of the, uh, the road here. Uh, I don't think it was planned that way, but that's just the way it's happened. Uh, so there's a, like a narrow cut through the limestone where the, the creek actually goes, and then it disappears underground. So it's quite unique. Looks like I'm on the Bruce Trail here now. It's so wet in here. I'm really glad I brought my rubber boots today. It's fantastic. See what we can see. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the sun is finally coming out after two days of just brutal rain. So, so it's just gorgeous. Just gorgeous in here. And now I'm going to get back up onto the Bruce Trail. And here she is. So I'm gonna make my way over to the other falls. Uh, there's one farther down here. And we'll see what trouble we can get into. Oh, so that's our objective down there. We just have to get there. So we'll have to go around 
down this way and then back down below. So this is quite the hidden gem. There was only one other car in the parking lot this morning. And that's about what you see here, usually. Not too many people know about it. It's, it's one of those places that doesn't seem to inspire a lot of interest, but it's actually quite nice. see lots of uh, water pooling up in the uh, forest. Fortunately, I have my gumboots. Wow, <laughs> I'm really glad I brought my boots. Well, you can definitely hear there's lots of water going over. As compared to the summertime when uh, I was here last, in the summer it was basically a trickle going over. So after two days of uh, climate emergency rain. Uh, there's lots of water coming down through here today. Oh wow. <laughs> there's lots. So it's very hard to get a good appreciation for how nice this looks, but it's a fantastic waterfall. Really, really nice. If I can get back up here. Yeah, looks okay.
slippery. Slippery, slippery, slippery. So you can go up that way. Huh. Well, if in doubt, check it out. So this is not part of the trail, just some other kind of side trail. I thought I saw something down here that was interesting. So I'll come and take a look. One of the last times I was in here, I saw five deer in a small herd. I guess you call them a herd. So we're on the falling edge of the Niagara Escarpment here. And if you look at all of this tumbled limestone here, it's all breaking away and falling towards Lake Ontario. So it's quite nice. And this time of year, the, the moss that's covering them is just a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant uh, green. So really quite nice to look at. Uh, I like coming out here in the spring when I'm taking some pictures of the waterfalls. And uh, that time of year, usually there's uh, lots of clean, fresh water coming down across little waterfalls and in places where there normally isn't a waterfall and but the greenery of the rocks is just just amazing so I think I am done for today hope you enjoyed this little outing like I said, it's, it's kind of a hidden gem. Not many people come out to these two little waterfalls. But, uh, and it's pretty rugged in spots to get really close. And sl some of the slopes are a little daunting. But, uh, well worth it to, to come and look at it. When you're on a, on a day, especially on a day like today when there's just tons and tons of water going over. Okay, we're back on the main trail and I'm going to cut across and head back to my car. Yes, I've been down there before. Oh uh, yeah, so you can go down there and you can take another 
another perspective on a waterfall. I think I've, I think I've tried to go down the slope here a little bit before, but uh, a little too wet today, I think, to try that. I've done it in the summer, but that is not good. Not that it's really badly a bad winter here, really. I think thanks to our climate emergency, it's getting much more warmer here in the winters. We should have had tons and tons of snow yesterday, but instead we got a lot of rain. So, I guess you do the math, right? Thanks for watching the video. Please subscribe to join me on my next adventure.